As you can see, there is no limit to what Dubner Paint Systems can do in the hands of a talented artist. The DPS-1 and the Turbo put unlimited graphics possibilities within reach of any budget. The DPS-1 system contains a 32-bit microcomputer, a digitizing tablet and pen, a keyboard, and a 10-megabyte disk drive that stores frames and real-time animations on removable high-performance Bernoulli cartridges. The higher-priced Turbo Paint system uses a faster microcomputer and a 20-meg disk drive for higher performance. It also comes with options like a pressure-sensitive stylus and a Grass Valley sink generator. You can operate either Dubner Paint System using only the digitizing tablet and pen or enter commands directly from the keyboard if you find that a faster way to work. No other paint systems in their class can do what the Turbo and the DPS-1 can. That's because no other paint systems work the way ours do. Our philosophy has always been build it yourself, program it yourself. The hardware is kept as flexible as possible with few limitations. By constant software updates, we assure the system never going obsolete. At Dubner, we design video graphic systems from the ground up, and we never stop looking for new approaches that transcend limitations. Our two engineering Emmys reflect this commitment to excellence. The Turbo and the DPS-1 are perfect examples of Dubner innovation. What makes this paint system unique from other systems is the four-field composite frame buffer. We grab all four fields and store them in the frame buffer without having to do an encode-decode step. Other systems decode two of the fields stored in a frame buffer and re-encode on the output side. Uh, the composite digital format that we're using is compatible with the D2 tape recorder format endorsed by Ampex and Sony. And since Dubner paint systems are software intensive, we can add new features without adding new hardware. When we first got our DPS-1, we did a thorough evaluation of the system's role in our operation. We sent Dubner a three-page letter with a list of features that we thought would be valuable to us. And in three months, they sent us a software revision that incorporated well over two-thirds of our suggestions. They are a very responsive company to work with. Working so closely with our clients, we've been able to build in features and functions that really address the needs of video production. The Turbo and the DPS-1 have everything you'd expect to find in a digital painter. Color ramps, solid, air, pattern, and chrome brushes. Frame grab, posterize, edge, mosaic, and blur. Powerful stencil functions, plus unique Dubner developed features like color crawl elimination and contrast enhancement. Wash and window brushes expand your creative options. You'll also find character generation with 3D edges, masking, emboss, and wallpaper. Hi, I've been working on a Dubner paint system for about a year now. One of my favorite functions is the window paint. You can be working on a, a long project and save your image off in the off-air and uh, make a mistake on the on-air and paint right back to your off-air so you don't waste a lot of time. My clients like working on the Dubner because it shows them their image in the finished NTSC format. This is a project that I did for Deaton Flanagan Production Company here in Nashville. And uh, they, they supplied me with this logo right here and uh, wanted me to make up a 50s looking scene. This is what it looked like before I put the windows on right here. I'm going to use a little square brush here because it's faster. Now what I'm doing is just painting through the top image to the lower one that has all those windows on it and just putting them where I want them. I'll just go in and give them some little individual touches with my airbrush. This gives you, makes it look more realistic. And if I make a mistake here, now I can just go back to my window. Like if I uh, put a big bunch of stuff here and I didn't like it, I can just go back to my window paint now, <laughs> paint right back through, and I'm right back to where I was, so without touching the rest of the stuff that I already have that I like. Okay, in this part I'm going to be telling you how to, uh, how I made the car look more real by reflecting some of the light from the sign when the sign turns on into the fender of the car. Okay, I have my car, let's go ahead and pick out my blues here. I'll go ahead and get a color right off of the sign. 
This is all with the uh, Dubner Smooth Anti-Alias Airbrush. It's a real pretty brush. Let's pick some of the red here and get a little bit of that in there. Okay, let's uh, unmagnify that and see how it looks. All right, it looks pretty good. Okay, here's our finished product, and with three simple dissolves, we can dissolve up our taillight, our light, and dissolve up productions.